create the resource loading sheet on Excel. Let's apply this formula in our project. In our project, and this is about 90% of the activity, you will have the duration already fixed. And you can uh, just modify the duration a little bit if you find that the manpower required or the daily manpower required is too high. But I, th I think in 90% of the project, you will have that the duration is fixed and you are going to calculate the manpower required to execute this duration. So in our cost loading sheet, we prepared from the previous lessons, I will add some few columns and we'll add to this column our formula and it is very simple, let's see how to do it. This is our cost loading sheet we prepared earlier. So what I added to this sheet, I, I made a new workbook sheet and I start adding here the manpower I will populate in my X, uh, Primavera sheet. I added simply column for each manpower. This column including the productivity and the man days. Let's see how it works. The Mason for example. I put here a productivity of 4. 4 meter cubic per day for one Mason. And the man day is required to execute this quantity equal to simply this productivity this quantity multiplied by the percentage of the uh, the item if it is not 100% in the activity and divided by the productivity this is what we talked about earlier so this is a little bit complicated formula let's make it simple this equal to this quantity divided by the productivity this is the formula very simple okay but in that case if I apply this formula copy and apply it here to uh, uh, an activity which don't has the Mason as uh, a manpower it will give me an error message so what I did I just simply added one condition I said if this cell value is greater than zero then apply this formula otherwise keep it zero it will give me the same result but if I copy this formula to another cell which don't has the the uh, the productivity here which it means that there is no mason in this activity it will be kept as zero this is better uh, formula than having error here another condition i added you know that this percentage column will tell me what is the weight of this item in this activity for example here's a column under the column next, I take only 10% from the total quantity of the column for the column next. So in that case, I need to add another condition. This condition will multiply this quantity by this percentage. So just I'll add here multiplied by this percentage. So if this percentage is 100%, it will give me the total the whole quantity let's say if this 50% then it will make the calculation for only 50% of this quantity and this sheet will you will have to add if there is an mason in this activity just put the productivity rate here the sheet will calculate automatically the total man days and after you finish populating all the productivity here then you will come to the activity level and you'll find here that you need 440 labor for the backfilling this number you will go to import it to the primavera 
So this is very simple process and very straightforward process. Once you understand the formula, here our formula we fix the duration. So the duration is fixed, and we have the quantity. Then we are calculating now the required total manpower to execute this quantity, and we will put this in primavera. Then the primavera will distribute this total manpower on the activity duration, and will tell us how many daily manpower required. So if we did another example here for carpenter, for example, for the PC concrete for footing, I assumed a productivity of eight for the carpenter, for the uh, uh, um, under mat foundation, and 2.5 under isolated footing, and 2.5 under grade beam. So I have here different numbers of carpenter which all of them under the PC concrete for footing. Now I need to make a submission of all these numbers and this number only will go to the Primavera. The total carpenter required to execute this activity is the submission of the individual number for each item in the POQ. I will, I will give you this file and I'll let you go through it and find out how we created this file I don't want to show you exactly how I created I want you to uh, study it yourself and then if you found something not uh, clear then you send me an email telling me okay this is not clear then I'll, I'll reply back to you and tell you how to do it exactly but the main thing here I want you to understand is the concept how we are calculating the manpower so simply put the productivity here and the formula we talked about will calculate how many man days required to execute this activity then here you have to have the submission of this all man days and this is the total number you will add in the primavera this is very simple and straightforward process and I hope you understand it and please download this file and go through it try to understand the simple formula we added here and then let's go to the part number two